Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We just got out of watching Barbie. It is nighttime. We don't got good lighting. So we're <laughs> using our phones. Here are just a quick after the theater thoughts of watching Barbie. We're in our pink. I got glittery eyeshadow, got some pink lips. It's as pink as I can get because I don't have pink stuff. I really liked the movie. I thought it was really funny and it was like a little cutesy. Very not what I expected. I don't know what to say. I just, <laughs> I just really liked it. The Kens, they're really funny and yeah. stuff happens. And then whenever, you know, they go into the real world and all that, and then stuff happens. I love all the costumes, the, the dream houses, the cars. They, my God, whenever I would drive the Barbie car, I would go <laughs> like fast. Here, they're just like, I know, so slow. They're so slow. And it's, it's funny. Ken, I, I, to be honest, I like Ken. <laughs> Which Ken? <laughs> Which Ken, indeed. Um, who is it ranked? Ryan Gosling. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Gosling with his fur coat <laughs> and his really obsessed, like super obsessed with Barbie. <laughs> with like main character Barbie. You should watch it. It's, it was fun. There's this funny moment and it has like a beep. There's several funny moments. <laughs> There's a bleep. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hadn't really, like I had seen a little bit of trailers. Y'all know me, I don't do trailers. So it really was uh, what I expected. It was kind of funny yeah Ryan Gosling Ken was just a trip so many feelings the music the stuff everything the choreography and all that stuff mm. that and Stephanie over here I'm sure will go more into <laughs> no it's not a full review it's just not, thoughts, it's just thoughts. Uh, thoughts we don't go full review here you guys it's just thoughts just can I sit in the front no <laughs> I was a fellow Barbie player I have always been a solo player since I was little Playing games on my own, it's never because I had nobody. Tava sola, you know. In my defense, you know, the older sisters were like in their teenage. Pre uh, I can't see ya because the, the the mic is in the thing. And then I had my Barbies, and you know, I played with them probably too long, longer than most. Probably I don't know what is too long. A long time. I love my Barbies. I took care of my Barbies so much i adored them and then when it was time for a little sister to start playing with barbie my very very well taken care of barbies that i absolutely adored somebody that we're not gonna mention who that somebody is it was me get over it <laughs> no yeah like when i tell you it still hurts it like still I hurts it still fucking hurts. I don't remember this, so I don't care. She destroyed my Barbies. Like, the ugly Barbie that's in this, she did that to all my Barbies. And I cried. Like, it still hurts. So I, I want to cry right now. I so, played with them hard. Yeah, she was <laughs> deeply with them hard. I didn't. I was a very, I was somebody who took care of my Barbies. So, Barbie for me was always very, very important. I think I had one can. Because, you know, like, can. Who, the fuck, have any cans who cares I about Barbies, kins? but yeah. Yeah, I had, I had. I also had one that I, that I took care of for a long time yeah i think one of yours yeah. i think i have one of yours so we even had like an antique one okay because oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was very well taken care of i would actually end up making my own clothes from like old um like rags and stuff i just wanted to give y'all like a little feedback on my experience with barbie that i really loved them this one didn't love them she didn't she, i think you were more like brats dolls if I don't that, remember. but like not really she just destroyed them and just know that for me Barbie was um, a very important toy for me so I was really excited for this movie Greta did an amazing job with the direction um, yeah it's not what you would typically expect I mean I honestly didn't even know what to expect from a Barbie movie but it kind of I feel like was going in the direction that I was expecting it unknowingly to go and then it kind of shifted <laughs> And then it went somewhere else and then we kind of brought it back, but it was good I I overall enjoyed everything all the Barbies all the cans like they were saying uh, the clothes and everything the music It was really really good. Um, we get a nice little song from Ryan Gosling. We're going back to the Mickey Mouse Club uh, Days it kind of gave me the Lego movie vibes like going into the real world Especially with Will Ferrell being there. Yeah. It's not like fully a kid movie So if you're expecting oh, I'm gonna take my child to see this like Barbie. It's not like a Barbie cartoon animated movie just the idea of what it was that they thought that they had created for women and then it was like oh shit that's 
that's not at all what happened, right? That's not what's going on. I was expecting to, to for it to be my top 10 movies of the year. I really, really thought it was going to be just because I've been hearing so many positive things. Um, I don't think it's officially, I was like really prepared to put it in like top 10, but I don't think it's in top 10. Not yet. I don't think so. I had to like ponder about it, but I don't think it's in my top 10. Uh, but I think that's pretty much all I'm going to say for now. Everything else will be like, you know, my monthly wrap up. Uh, just more quicker thoughts about them once I've had time to like marinate my overall feelings about everything but the direction was great I love seeing all the Barbies and um, yeah if you love Margot Robbie you like Ryan Gosling and you want to see a Barbie and Ken movie uh, check it out because it's really really funny you guys it really really is there's no end credit scene and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And before we officially give you another uh, wave goodbye, what are you going to rank it? Medium. Medium combo. I'm giving it a medium as well. If you've seen Barbie, let us know below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you going to check it out? Are you not? We're not going to be able to see Oppenheimer until next week because all the tickets were full. And some we actually really, really want to see in IMAX um, in the 70 millimeter. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that until next week. Well, we're going to be able to do that because she has to work. Uh, but yeah, that's it from us today. Until next time, we'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. <laughs>